You're listening to Ecstasy Radio. Your number one free rock and metal radio show. Powered by our friends over at Unique Beats. Let's get this rock and roll. Hey, I'm DJ Doc over here at Ecstasy Radio, your number one free rock and metal radio show. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. So, I've got a very special surprise for you. Later on, I will be joined by none other than Yane from Alese, and uh, I'll be speaking with him. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. I think I am, but... uh, Anyway, I try, but later on, I will be joined by him, and I'm really looking forward to speaking with him. But first, I'm going to keep the rocket rolling by hooking you guys up with Dead End Finland with their song Northern Winds. So I am, again, DJ Doc here on Ecstasy Radio. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys back here in a bit.
And that was Abandon All with Forever Yours. Before that, that was Avalanche with Little Lotus. What I've got up next for you is Bloody Monroe with Left of Sin. Again, I am DJ Doc here on Ecstasy Radio. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, I'm Doc here on Ecstasy Radio, and I'm joined by Yana from Alays. Yana, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. Thank you so much for doing this interview. Like, uh, we're we're really big fans of yours over here at Ecstasy Radio. Thank you so much for having me. 
No problem, man. So uh, tell me about the formation of Alais and where did the name come from? Yeah, well, well, the name, it, it doesn't actually mean anything. Uh, it's just, uh, it was actually my, my idea because it's in the beginning of alphabets. <laughs> and uh, it sounds sounds good to me. It's it's like a any any name. It doesn't have any any specific uh, special meaning. And uh, we formed Ala Alage or Alase, like like I pronounce it as a Finn Alase. <laughs> Alase. Uh, we yeah we founded it, it in um, 2014 with my other guitar player Mikko. Uh, we used to play in a a melodic death metal band called Chromatic Dark before, and uh, mm-hmm. I moved away from northern Finland, from Oulu, where, where that band used to exist, and uh, we still wanted to make mu- music together, so that that was the reason why why we founded Alas Alasa with him. And um, yeah, uh, at first we released only digital singles. Until 2019, we uh, we released our debut album. And uh, since that, we have been again releasing digital singles. But now we are we are going to soon release the next album. Hmm. Very nice. And uh, can you give me some details about the next album? Yeah, the next album's name is uh, a matter of time, and it will be out on the 14th of April. Very nice. Very nice. And uh, is Clear Sky? Is not a curse. Is that on that album, or is that from one of your prior albums? Uh, it, it's on that album, and it's it's like the first single from that album. And uh, in two weeks, there will be the second uh, uh, single from that album. It's called um, Fate's Intervention. It will also have music video, like like Clear Sky. It's not a curse. Had and um, it's it's uh, done by the same same company, Arni Visuals. Uh, we have just started to work with them uh, on, on the music videos, and we are really happy with the results and uh, really looking forward to release the n- next single in two weeks. Very nice. Very nice. So, Jana, I do every week ask a weekly question to my audience, and today's question is, what is your favorite album? In the world. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's. I think that's a bit too difficult question to me because it it's different every week for me but like all time favorite album god damn that's so difficult question <laughs> I, I think I, I have to pick up something that come, comes to my mind at first and I will say Awake by Dream Theater good choice man good choice my favorite album of all time is Dark Light by him, and uh, it's the first time I'd ever heard them, and um, and uh, it just uh, it, it exploded like a catalyst to uh, discovering new bands like yourself, and um, you know the Rasmus and all the other bands from across the world, you know, and uh, I don't know, it's just got a special place in my heart, and uh, so. I mentioned your single "Clear Sky Is Not a Curse" earlier. Uh, can you, like, tell me a bit of the backstory of that song and what it's about? Yeah, um, I'm I'm not writing the lyrics in Alasa, but um, I can tell a bit about the lyrics. Still, uh, it's because uh, our lyricist Nini Svan, hmm. uh, she has some, like, really. Uh, serial serious health issues and uh one of those issues is that you know when when other people they they might love love the sunny days and sunshine it's a hell for so, some people mm-hmm. because if, if you have like neurological problems uh too much sunlight is not not that nice thing it can be feel like a curse and right. you need to say to yourself that it's not a curse even even if it feels like right it's a great song like uh that was the first song i actually heard from you guys uh your record label sent it over and when i first heard it i literally had it on repeat for days like i could not stop listening to that song and it's still one of my favorite songs i think i've i've gotten uh since i started this radio show so it's a it's a 
It's a very special song. So this is Alese, I think is how I'm pronouncing it right. Right? Alese? Right? Or... That sounds good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Everybody I don't want to butcher it. Word. Go ahead. What were you saying? Uh, yeah, everyone has their own version how it, how they pronounce Alase. But I, I say usually Alase, but it, it doesn't matter that much. <laughs> okay. Well, this is Alese with... Clear sky is not a curse. I am your host, DJ Doc, here on Ecstasy Radio. We'll see you guys back here in a bit.
And that was Olin with Of Spite. Before that, that was Kill Hall with Fear Shaped Man. What I've got up next for you is Soul Rider by Wishing Well. I'll see you guys back here in a bit. Enjoy. <laughs>
Hey, I'm DJ Doc here on Ecstasy Radio. I'm joined by Yana from Alese. Um, I hope I'm trying to say that right. But uh, anyway, uh, so tell me about uh, your sound because I hear very symphonic elements in it. I hear a lot of progressive elements in it. And of course, I hear a lot of the, I don't know, um, the Finnish melancholy in it. It's, uh, y- you know, when you're listening to a band from Finland. Uh, because they've got that, I don't know, that sort of darkness, I guess uh, you would say, like yeah. that, just that melancholy, you know? So tell me a bit about your sound and your biggest influences and who inspired you to make music in the first place. Yeah, actually, um, my, I can only speak on my own behalf, uh, of musical influences, but, uh, I'm listen, listening to bands like Catatonia, Tool, A Perfect Circle, Dream Theater, Deseract, Leprous, the ocean textures just to name some bands yeah. uh they are all or like pretty melancholic bands and uh they have like really good melodies and they are progressive most of them maybe maybe all of them are not like totally progressive metal band but still all of those have progressive elements in their music and uh that's what we have as well in our music and uh of course i, I have been like listening to a lot of finnish metal like sentenced amorphous uh and um bands like that in the past and it has influenced my my like melodies quite a lot but nowadays i'm i'm trying to like do some kind of in, infusion of myself with that and i'm i'm i like to mix a lot of different kinds of musical elements from different genres as well very nice very nice so if you guys toured at all uh we haven't uh, actually toured we have played a few a couple of shows uh in the end of 2019 but then came the covid stuff and uh all of the live shows went to mute for a while here in finland and in rest of the world as well but um we have switched like to a, a remote working mode again we we started as a remote band and now we are in that kind of mode mode again and uh so we are we don't have for example rehearsal space for our band so we all, all all of us we like do our own parts in our home studios and uh then then i will like combine them together and uh that brings brings the stuff of alasa music and uh we don't know yet if we will start to play live shows again. We have had some talks about it, but that requires quite a lot, lot of effort. And uh, we live quite far away from each other. Uh, second guitar player lives in northern Finland. It's 600 kilometers from me, and uh, some other guys are are living like 300 kilometers from me and uh, such. So it's a bit difficult to start playing live because we we would need to rehearse as well. Very nice, very nice. But um, you know, I hope you guys do tour, and I hope you guys go. You know, I hope you guys come over to the states. I would definitely love to see you. That would be amazing. Very much so. So, uh, what band would you like to share the stage with when you do tour? Uh, I think a band, maybe Tesseract or, or The Ocean, would be really nice, or Catatonia. Of course, we would be probably playing before them. Right. Opening up for them. Yeah. Yeah. I hear a lot of Catatonia's influence in uh, in your music. You know, when I actually introduced you guys for the first time on this radio station, I said that you guys sounded a lot like Catatonia. And I hear a lot of that <laughs> influence in there. You know, but you guys are different, though. You know, it's uh, you guys have your own style. And you you have your own sound, and uh, that's why I asked you about your sound earlier. Uh, so, if you were to perform live, what do you think your favorite song to perform would be? Um, I think uh, any any song from the forthcoming album because uh, that represents the best what we are nowadays. Very nice, very nice. So, unfortunately, well, fortunately, I'm not going to say unfortunately. But I love talking to you. So, but fortunately, I do have to introduce the next song. This is the '69 win- min- Windmills with Tiny Robot. I'm your host, DJ Doc, here on Ecstasy Radio. I'll see you guys back here in a bit.
gonna be my queen You took my heart and you spat it back out You're never gonna be my queen You took my heart and you spat it back out You're never gonna be my queen You took my heart and you spat it back out You're never gonna be my
And that was Normandy with Stride. Before that, that was Cavanta with Be My Queen. What I've got up next for you is Fanchon with Preliminary. I'll see you guys back in a bit. Enjoy. Hey, I'm DJ Doc here on Ecstasy Radio. I'm joined by Yana from Alese. I'm hoping, I'm trying my best to pronounce that right. But uh, anyway, uh, so Yana, tell me a little bit about your 2023 schedule. What does that look like? Uh, it, it looks like that uh, in two weeks, uh, on the 1st of March, uh, our second single will be out. And uh, after that, on the 14th of April, our second album, a matter of time will will go out, and uh, we will see if, if we will start playing live shows again. 
We are not sure about that even yet, but time will show that. And uh, we will also continue to write new music because that's what we love to do. Very nice, very nice. And I hope to, I hope you guys do go live. I seriously do. What is the what is the live like network look like over there in Finland? Is it are a lot of bands getting out now and starting to play live uh, after the COVID pandemic? I think uh, there are a lot of live shows happening, and uh, actually many live clubs have have need, needed to like uh, end their their like career because of like COVID limitations that were in place, and unfortunately there are less less places to play live nowadays. And all, all the bands want to play live at the moment, so so uh, there might be a lot of cues to play live. I mean, that's sad that a lot of bands and venues have gone under because of the, the pandemic. I know a lot of, um, over here in the States, I know of a lot of venues that went under because of that. And yeah. um, it, it's sad, really. The COVID pandemic did so much damage to the music industry that it's still recovering from and i hope it does i mean and i wasn't i at the time i was not involved in radio but you know it still does a lot of damage to radio because we actually rely on festivals and stuff you know and venues uh to you know because we go and cover them and you know host events and stuff like that and uh it's just sad the amount of damage that it did and um but you know i'm optimistic and uh, i hope you are as well i i think it's slowly right. slowly getting there yeah so uh yana what is the best advice you've ever been given musically that's really a damn difficult question i i haven't <laughs> been, been like i haven't been given that that many, many advices ever like uh maybe maybe Trust your own vision. Okay. And uh, is there anything out there that you would want to share with your fans that might be listening out there? Yeah, check out our forthcoming stuff. It's good <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right, man. All right. Is there anything else you want to share with them? I think this is about it. And and uh, thank you so much for having me. It's it's amazing that you have this this uh, radio show and uh, you're doing great great work, man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I really do appreciate the kind words. You know, it's just, you know, we're trying here on Ecstasy Radio, the whole point of it is music discovery. And we're trying to put bands out there that, you know, give them the exposure, like yourselves, that we feel like you guys deserve. You know, get you out there and and heard and seen, you know, and um, we're just trying to do our part. That helps so much and it really warms our hearts. Love you guys. We hope you guys will come back on the show as well. Yeah, I would love to. I hope you had a great time, man. Like, I, I don't want this to be, like, the one-time thing. Like, I really do. You know, if you guys ever want to come back on the show, if you guys ever uh, release a new single, or if there's anything that you want to put out there, of course, you know, we're always here for you. It was a pleasure. Definitely. All right, man. I'm going to let you go. So uh, have a great one, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Yeah, see you next time. All right, thank you so much for coming. And that was Yane from Alese. I, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. I've tried many times during the show to try to pronounce that right, and it'll probably kill me if I don't pronounce it right after so many times of being told. But anyway, yes, thank you again, Yane, for being here. I hope you do come back on the show. It was a pleasure to have you here. So anyway, I'm going to hook you guys with the Mighty One next with Darker Side of Me. I am your host, DJ Doc, here on Ecstasy Radio. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy. There's a place I sometimes go Where it's raining mist and cold Far away from peaceful light and Shadows cross my face Viking anger and a lust for more And you reflect that part of me And in your eyes I see The 
protein We ain't feeding any vegans on the scene I tell you friends we're down to burdens See you next week and we'll do it all And that was Black Oxygen with First Bite. Before that, that was Inner Outlines with Undone. What I've got up next for you is none other than Day Shell with Letting Go. I'm your host, DJ Doc, here on Ecstasy Radio. Enjoy. <laughs>
Hey, I'm DJ Doc here on Ecstasy Radio, and guys, I have to thank you guys so much for all your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in every week. I do appreciate it. So what I've got up next for you is a new band, Blade, with their song, Alone. Again, I am your host, DJ Doc, here on Ecstasy Radio. Enjoy.
And that was Woundstripe with Dirty Road, one of the new bands that I wanted to premiere this week. Before that, that was Judith Alice with Line Leading the Blind. What I've got up next for you is Sum of Seven with The Monster, The King. I hope you guys enjoy. I am DJ Doc here on Ecstasy Radio. Enjoy.
Hey, I'm Doc of here at Ecstasy Radio, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the show so far, but unfortunately, I do have to end the show now. But you know me, I'm never one to leave you guys empty-handed, so I'm going to leave you guys with a song called God Now by Solcura. I hope you guys have a great weekend, a safe weekend, and I'll see you back here at the same bat time, same bat channel. I'll see you guys next week. Again, I hope you have a great weekend.